streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Jeremy Wall. Power is back for thousands in lacrosse after a power outage this morning. According to Excel Energy's outage map, more than 9,000 people lost power around 8 a.m. this morning in South Lacrosse. There is still no word on what caused the outage. We'll keep you updated when we learn more. We had a gorgeous start to our weekend this Saturday. We're finally starting to feel that warm up that we have coming for the next few days. As we look at our observed highs today, 78 in La Crosse, a little bit cooler up in Eau Claire at 73, even seen 68 in Lee Smith. However, we're going to be well above that as we get into Sunday. Here's what the morning's going to be looking like tonight. We're seeing pretty cloudy conditions, well above average for those lows, staying in the mid 50s in La Crosse, and then slowly warming. However, we're going to get pretty high up there, already seeing the 70s by noon. As we go to Eau Claire, staying in the low 50s tonight, again, partly cloudy skies. We're going to continue to clear whatever is left of those clouds as we go throughout the evening and then have mostly clear and sunny skies going into Sunday. A very nice day out there, however, it's going to feel a lot more like summer than fall. So we do have some record highs that are possible tomorrow with highs getting into the 80s, well above our normal for this time of year. Warm to start the week those highs are going to be continuing into Monday as well. And then we're going to have a pretty drastic cool down come for Wednesday as a cold front comes through. But of all the details on how fast that cool down is going to come in my next forecast. I'm sad for the cool down, but hey, at least it's still fall. I'm happy for that cool down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nicole, thank you. A lacrosse man is celebrating a big birthday. Today, Lorenz Pinsky is turning 100 years old. A World War II veteran, folks came out to the American Legion in Coon Valley to celebrate his milestone. State Representative Lauren Oldenburg, Congressman Derek Van Orden, and Senator Brad Paff are honoring him with a plaque. Pinsky accredits loved ones for helping him get to 100. Good friends and family, I guess, are at the top of the list. He has had several accomplishments throughout his 100 years, including doing lots of skiing. In 2013, he received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Wisconsin Ski and Snowboard Association. A lacrosse woman is feeding the homeless population. Today, Nicole Sales held a barbecue in Copeland Park for people who are un unsheltered. Sales is a recovering addict who used to be homeless. She's holding the event to show she cares for those who are homeless. My heart goes out to everybody. I don't care what brought them to the situation. Everybody needs love. Everybody needs compassion. Everybody needs a hot meal. Um, if I can do that one day out of a month or a year, I, that's something I can give back. Sales adds if she had land, she would build housing for the unsheltered population. She plans to have these gatherings every month. Halloween is almost here and some people are already trick or treating. Today, Gateway Scouting, a nonprofit providing scouting programs in Wisconsin and Minnesota, hosted its 23rd annual Enchanted Forest Family event in Riverside Park. The event raises money for the No Scout Left Behind program, which aims to ensure that everyone in the community has access to the scouts. Families did some trick or treating in the park and enjoyed games and activities. Marketing and membership executive Ashley Kane says that the most enjoyable part of the event is seeing families having a great time. Seeing all the little kids come through in their costumes and they're just so excited to be out dressed as their favorite characters and loading up on all that sugar and having fun with the family. Local businesses, university clubs and nonprofits contributed to the event. The Holman Area Community Center is also getting in on the Halloween action today. HACC hosted its third annual Pumpkin Fest on Halfway Creek Trail. The event raises money for the center's programs. Attendees enjoyed trick-or-treating, a haunted house, and a costumed pet parade. Pet parade was really a lot of fun. We had some just charming pets, and their pet owners were dressed up like them. But I have to admit, probably the... The most magical part is the pumpkin trail. Guests could also view pumpkins decorated by Holman fifth graders.
And the fall festivities continue. Horse Sense is hosting its seventh annual Fall Harvest Festival. The nonprofit aims to enhance the lives of individuals both with and without disabilities through weekly therapeutic horseback riding lessons. Today's festival benefits its programs. Festival goers got to do meet and greets with therapeutic horses and enjoyed pumpkin painting, carnival games, and face painting. Executive Director Samantha Hall says the event is to also help people learn more about their programs. The event was really created to just gain exposure. Yes, it does raise funds for our program, um, but more than that, just getting people familiar with therapeutic writing, how they can get involved in our program, participate in lessons, volunteer. That's really like the reason that we do this event. If you couldn't make it to Fall Harvest Festival and would still like to donate, head to news8000.com. We will have a link attached to this article. Still ahead on News 8 now this weekend, the race to the White House continues. With less than two weeks until Election Day, candidates are still campaigning in battleground states. More details when we come back. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we've helped hunters gear up for the season for over six decades. So as you prep for this year's hunt, shop unbeatable deals on supplies to make your trip successful. Like 10 packs of grabber hand warmers, just $5.99. Hit the road and save a buck 50 a gallon on splash antifreeze. For working dogs, large bags of Victor dog food are $5 off. And keep cabins warm with easy heat fuel pellets, just $4.99. Gear up for the hunt and save at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We need real working people in Washington. What a phony. Cook spent the last decade working as a political operative. Earned her money helping defund the police radicals like Mandela Barnes, the most anti-police candidate in Wisconsin history. Now, Cook won't let you protect your family. She wants to ban the most popular rifle in the country, earning an F from the NRA. Rebecca Cook, phony insider, dangerously liberal. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. Have you heard Eric Hovde? I am totally opposed to abortion. I am totally opposed to politicians telling women what we can do. Extremists all over the country have passed abortion bans. Criminal penalties for doctors. No exceptions for rape or incest. Women are dying just trying to get health care. There are even restrictions in Wisconsin. This has to stop. I am totally opposed to abortion. We are totally opposed to Eric Hovde. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. Join the Scouts Saturday, October 19th for a magical day filled with treats and enchanting activities at their non-scary trick-or-treat trail. This event is great for the whole family with fun activities to experience. The Friends of Onalaska Library book sale takes place October 17th through the 19th at the Onalaska Public Library. Thousands of books, DVDs, CDs, and magazines, most a dollar or under. For more information on these events or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Welcome back. The candidates are going full, full steam ahead as the presidential election is just weeks away now. Today, Vice President Kamala Harris is campaigning in Michigan and Georgia, while former President Donald Trump holds a rally in Pennsylvania. And early voting is underway in many states, including key battleground Georgia that has seen record turnout. Rob Kirkpatrick has more. The race for the White House is heating up as the final weekends of the campaign draw near. With just 17 days until Election Day, both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are rallying voters in key battleground states, including Michigan. So many things happened in Detroit and it's been treated so badly and they've been talking about comebacks for so long, but we're going to bring it back better than it ever was. And now Donald Trump is making the same empty promises to the people of Michigan that he did before. The stakes in these closing weeks couldn't be higher. CNN's poll of polls shows no clear leader in the presidential race, with likely voters supporting Harris at an average of 50 percent, while 49 percent prefer Trump. Voting is already underway in 42 states, with more than 11 million ballots cast so far. The key battleground state of Georgia saw record turnout on the first day of early voting. I think everyone realizes this is probably one of the most important elections they're going to have in years. And then when they get, get it done. I wasn't even really thinking about voting early except for the fact that my daughter's back from college for, for fall break. So I just figured I'd go with her. And both candidates are targeting early voters in a race that is razor thin. 
Early voting is underway, so get everyone you know and go out and vote. I think it's great that people are turning out and voting and being active. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick reporting. Coming up on News 8 Now this weekend, becoming a Girl Scout might become more expensive. We'll explain why membership fees might be going up. In multiple areas tomorrow could be seeing record highs as the 80s return to the forecast. I'll have that full look at the forecast coming up after the break. Become a better you with the help and support of the Y. Whether you're training for a 5K, looking to gain strength or lose weight, we are here to help. You can be stronger and living better through the help of the Y. Stop by the Y today or visit our website to learn more. Eric Hovde has a problem, a problem with the truth. Time and again, his ads have been called false. He's a desperate candidate willing to say anything. But here's what's true. Eric Hovde has a plan to slash Social Security 28%, Medicare 25%, veterans' benefits 40%, all to spend $4 trillion on tax breaks for rich guys like himself. Eric Hovde's lying, and he's not for us. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hardworking EV with more range than any competitor. And the potential to take you anywhere. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or get $5,750 total value on this Silverado. Visit hometownchevy.com. This illegal immigrant was recently arrested in southwestern Wisconsin for a sexually violent attack on a woman, a suspected Venezuelan gang member who entered the U.S. just last year. Unfortunately, Steve Doyle supports sanctuary cities that protect criminals like this, and Doyle opposed sending resources to secure the border to keep dangerous criminals like Alejandro Jose Coronel Zarate away from our families. Steve Doyle's failures are destroying Wisconsin lives. Steve Doyle, unwilling to secure the border, unfit to serve. Become a better you with the help and support of the Y. Whether you're training for a 5K, looking to gain strength or lose weight, we are here to help. You can be stronger and living better through the help of the Y. Stop by the Y today or visit our website to learn more. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. CVS Health announced a new president and CEO in the wake of layoffs. David Joyner is replacing Karen Lynch. Joyner most recently served as executive vice president of CVS Health and president of CVS Caremark, its pharmacy services business. The shakeup comes as CVS shares have dropped more than 25% this year. The company laid off nearly 3,000 workers, most of, most of them corporate, earlier this month. It also got rid of another 5,000 corporate workers last year. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is investigating the safety of Tesla's full self-driving feature, or also known as FSD. The investigation is looking into four accidents involving vehicles using the self-driving feature. The agency says a pedestrian was struck and killed in one. There was also an injury in another. The agency said in each accident, the Tesla car using FSD crashed after entering an area of reduced roadway visibility from conditions such as sun glare, fog, or airborne dust. The feature, sold as an $8,000 upgrade, requires drivers to stay in the driver's seat and to be ready to take control of the vehicle in order to avoid accidents.
Being a Girl Scout could soon cost you more. The Girl Scouts of the USA are voting whether to raise membership dues from $25 a year to $85 a year. That's a 240% hike per Scout. Membership dues are the organization's largest source of revenue. In 2023, they generated $38 million from nearly 2 million members. But the Girl Scouts have faced cash flow issues stemming from the pandemic, inflation, and changing consumer behaviors. Some members believe the hike is out of reach for many families. A Girl Scout spokesperson says the organization will continue to provide financial aid to any girl who needs it. Alrighty, let's send it over to first warm meteorologist Nicole Skaliski with a check of the forecast. And Nicole, the 80s are still here, so should we whip out the tank tops, swimsuits, shorts, and all that fun stuff? I would maybe start to cut down on the, or whooping out the tank tops, maybe for a day or two. However, the heat isn't going to stick around for too long, so I want to go too crazy with it. There could be a nice day of swimming in there if you could find a nice little um, body of water. Here's our highs for Sunday. We're looking at 81 in La Crosse, 80 in Eau Claire. Almost every town in this area is seeing the 80s tomorrow. So it's going to be abnormally warm out there. Our normal, our normal highs for this time of year are sitting in the mid 50s. So we're going to be well above that, almost 25 degrees above that in some locations. And this heat is going to continue into Monday as well. These are Monday's highs, still seeing 80 in both La Crosse and Eau Claire. A couple more areas lingering in the upper 70s as we go into Monday, but the record high potential still continues on for Monday. Here's when we should usually be um, saying goodbye to the 80s though in La Crosse. October 3rd on average is the last time where we have an 80 degree or above high. In fact, this time of year, today's the 19th. Tomorrow's going to be the 20th when we have those 80s. The 25th is usually when we say goodbye to the 70s, and that's not looking like it's going to be a factor for a little bit as we go into this upcoming forecast. In Eau Claire, we should be saying goodbye to this warm weather even sooner. In fact, this time of year, we should be saying goodbye to the 70s. The 70s should be long gone out of our brains. We should start being thinking about the snowfall chances. Now, I don't want to scare anyone. We don't have to think about that quite yet, but it really puts it into perspective how abnormally warm it is as we go throughout the beginning of the week. Here's our rain chances as well. So this system is going to bring the first chance of rain that we have coming up and the pretty major cool down as we go into the middle of the week. So we have that high pressure situated over the southeast portion of the United States that's giving us this warm and fairly quiet weather. As we go into Tuesday, we'll start to see that low pressure system and its associated cold front slowly making its way over going to give us some extra cloud coverage as we go into Tuesday, but we're really not going to feel its effects until we go into Tuesday night. Here we are Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. We'll see some um, small showers. I want to emphasize small, not looking at a lot of accumulation, mainly north of I-94. As we go during the day Wednesday, there could be a band of rain that goes mainly south of I-90 through those early morning hours on Wednesday. However, really not a lot in terms of accumulation with those rain chances. After that, we're seeing some chances return Thursday night going into next weekend as well, but we're really not looking at anything very widespread with any of these upcoming rain chances. So unfortunately, it's not looking to help or hinder the drought that we're experiencing. This moderate area of drought has both squeezed in from the south and the north into our area, so it is dry out there. It's looking like it could continue on as we go into the near future as well. Here's a look at that eight-day forecast. 81 on Sunday, 80 on Monday, and then we had slowly dip down into the 70s. However, it's not really much of a cool down, still well above average for this time of year. That 59 on Wednesday is actually still above average for this time of year, believe it or not. So this entire week we're just spending above that normal high. It's just a warm stretch that we're having. So tomorrow and Monday could be the actual last beach days of the season. We'll see. I don't want to take it out quite yet. All righty. Thank you so much, Nicole. Coming up in sports, football, tennis, soccer, and even cross country. We had a big day of local action. Cade will break it all down right after the break. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin with six locations of fun. Right now at International Furniture, get store-wide fall savings on all the brands you know and trust. Fjords, Durham Bedroom, Norwalk, Hooker, Flex Steel, and Hancock and & more. Hurry in today for the best selection and savings. International Furniture, I-90, Exit 2, La Crosse. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message.
Donald Trump makes a lot of promises, but we can be sure of one thing. If he wins, he'll ignore all checks that rein in a president's power. It's all in Trump's Project 2025 agenda. What does that mean for you? Higher cost on groceries, cuts to Social Security and Medicare, more tax breaks for billionaires, and a national abortion ban putting women's health at risk. A second Trump term, more unhinged, unstable, and unchecked. Over the last few years, we've redefined what working remotely means. And so is the Ford F-150. Bring your desk wherever you go with a flat interior work surface. Drop down the tailgate to get it all done. And plug in what you need outside the cab with available pro power on board. How's that for upping your productivity? Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Get 2.9% financing for 66 months, plus up to 9900 in total savings on a new Ford F-150 XLT. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Let's talk about Rebecca Cook. She's a political operative. She's worked for defund the police radicals across this country. Cook spent millions getting Mandela Barnes elected, the most anti-law enforcement candidate in Wisconsin's history. You remember Barnes, the guy who said reducing prison populations was sexy? Defund the police radicals make it harder for us to keep you safe. That's why we can't support Rebecca Cook, because she'll never support us. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. Right now at International Furniture, get store-wide fall savings on all the brands you know and trust. Fjords, Durham Bedroom, Norwalk, Hooker, Flex Steel, and Hancock and more. Hurry in today for the best selection and savings. International Furniture, I-90, Exit 2, La Crosse. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. Another weekend in the fall and the Wisconsin Badgers are starting to find their groove. They've outscored their opponents 94 to 13 over the last two weeks, but now they've got an interesting test playing in a temporary stadium. Let's go to Evanston Northwestern playing at their practice field while their main stadium has renovations right on the coast of Lake Michigan. A cool look, but not quite a daunting atmosphere and the Badger offense. Certainly not afraid. A slow start, but in the second quarter, Braden Locke on the QB keeper. He's going to take it up the middle in for the score. Wisconsin goes up seven. And then at the end of the half, a big turn of events. 50 seconds left. Northwestern dropping back, but the Badger defense forces the strip sack. Wisconsin recovers, and the offense would take advantage. Very next play, Locke, the pitch to Cade Iacomelli. He gets the corner and scores. Badgers take a 14-point lead at the half. Then in the second half on first and goal, Locke dropping back, buying time, goes to the tight end. That's Tucker Ashcraft making the grab. Badgers extend their lead. They would go on to win 23-3. It certainly wasn't your typical Big Ten environment, but the Badgers came prepared. Yeah, it was definitely a bring your own juice kind of week. We knew that going into it, um, you know, but like we said, we'll play these guys anywhere. Um, you know, we, we said we play them in the parking lot if it came down to that. So i um, really happy that we were able to come in here and get a win and do what we needed to do. Let's go down to level. UWL looking to snap a three game losing streak first and goal and check out this grab by Jack Studer making it look easy. Eagles go up 10 then in the second half. Eagles looking to blow this game wide open. Kyle Haas, a great pass to Keaton Arndt. Touchdown UWL. Eagles bounce back in a big way, 34-7. The final, Haas would throw for 260 yards and three touchdowns. UWL would also rush for 236 yards. A much-needed win. Eagles back at home next weekend for a 1 o'clock game against River Falls. In Madison, the final day of the individual state tennis tournament and Aquinas' Kate Fortney is bringing home some hardware. Fortney would finish in second place for the Division II tournament and was in a close championship match before ultimately taking the silver. She's not done yet. Kate and the rest of the Aquinas team will be a part of Team State next weekend. And also West Salem's Megan Johnson would take sixth place over the weekend. On the soccer pitch, UWL taking on River Falls for some WIAC action. Eagles already with an early lead, putting the pressure on the Falcons constantly, but can't quite find the back of the net here. Lauren Schultz playing some good goalie for River Falls, but later the Eagles strike. Sophie Pope crossing it in perfectly, and Lucy Kwindinski with the one hitter past the goalie. Eagles go up two. Second half, UWL still on the attack, and Haley Slasky going to show off from well outside the box. Gets it to go. Eagles went out on one more. They get the win 5-0. to zero. 
How about some cross country? EWL hosting the Drews Newbauer invite over at Maple Grove venues. First, the women getting the morning started. UWL starting off strong. Look at these five runners right in a group leading the pack, followed by the rest of the group. UWL's Gwen Hines would take home first for the Eagles. 22 minutes, seven seconds. Madeline McIntyre right behind her. UWL would have seven in the top 10 to take first overall. And then in the men's race, look out for the Eagles. UWL also running in a pack in this one. And then at the end, it would be Mohamed Bati flying in at 24 minutes, six seconds for Augsburg. Right behind him were UWL's Grant Matai and Elias Ritzke coming in one second apart to take second and third. UWL men would also get the win, and it would be a sweep for the team scores for the Eagles. The brackets are out. We had a ton of teams make the playoffs. I'm just going to run through some of the top seeds starting in Division Two. Holman and Central will face off first round. Central won the matchup earlier this year. In Division Three, on Alaska and Logan will both host a first round game. And if both teams see a first round win, they'll face off in round two. Down in D4, Aquinas gets the overall top seed, while West Salem would earn a three seed and will possibly face Columbus in round two. A gauntlet of a draw for those schools could possibly face off in round three. In Division Five, Prairie to Sheen got a number one seed. They'll look to keep things rolling. D6, Lacrosse Luther will host a first round game as they earned a four seed and a lot of good teams in D7, but it's Bangor getting a one seed. Cochrane Fountain City, a two seed. And then on the other side of the bracket, Pepin Alma is a three seed. A lot of other teams also in the field, so be sure to tune in throughout the week. A couple of big time NFL games tomorrow starting in Green Bay. The four and two Packers hosting the five and one Houston Texans for a battle of two of the best young QBs in the league. For Green Bay, Jordan Love has the second most passing touchdowns in the league at 12. And Love also missed two games this year. Stroud right behind him at 10. But if the Packers want to win this game, it's going to start up front. Both teams are going to look to establish the run early on. And in Minnesota, the undefeated Vikings are welcoming in one of the hottest teams in the NFL, the 4-1 Detroit Lions. Going into the season, the Lions were the favorite to win the division, with the Vikings sort of being tossed to the side. But Minnesota is for real, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Look for Minnesota to blitz in a lot to try to disrupt the dynamic Lions offense. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we've helped hunters gear up for the season for over six decades. So as you prep for this year's hunt, shop unbeatable deals on supplies to make your trip successful. Like 10 packs of Grabber Head Warmers, just $5.99. This Stealth Cam 360 trail camera, only $129.99. Hit the road with five quarts of Sitgo Super Guard Full Synthetic Motor Oil, $17.99. And all Fram oil filters are 20% off for rewards members. Gear up for the hunt and save at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. A flood of illegals, skyrocketing prices, global chaos, and Kamala wouldn't change a thing. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. Nothing will change with Kamala. More weakness, more war, more welfare for illegals, and even more taxes. Only President Trump cut middle class taxes, and only President Trump will do it again. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. It's Jeep Adventure Days at Chrysler Winona. Lease a new four-door Jeep Wrangler Willys V6 with heated seats and steering wheel for $549 down and $549 per month or buy from $10,000 off of MSRP. Need more room? A new three-row Jeep Grand Cherokee L with heated leather, sunroof, and a V6 engine up to $10,000 MSRP or lease from $599 down and $599 per month. So see us today at our new location, Highway 61, Winona. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Eric Hovde owns a $3 billion California bank. That's right, he owns it. And a $7 million mansion on the beach. Eric Hovde proposed $4 trillion in new tax breaks for rich guys just like him. And to pay for it, Hovde would cut Social Security by 28%. Slash Medicare 25%. And veterans' benefits 40%. Outrageous. Now we know what's wrong with Eric Hovde. This guy is not for us. 
It was a good decision having my wife here. I couldn't do it no more. I took care of her for six years. I feel that she's safe here. I feel that, that any time if she's got a problem, they can get a hold of me, and they have, and they've got a hold of me, which is really, I'm glad that they have. And I've sat in the hallway and watched people bring their loved ones in here, and they were nervous and that, but there's nothing to be nervous about. They're just taking really good care of you at this facility. And that's what it's all about. As long as your wife is happy or your husband, when you come to a place like this, that's all you're asking for, that they're happy. Characters from film, television, comics, and video games have descended on New York City. This weekend, it's not quite Halloween, but Comic-Con is back in the Big Apple. Alan Devlin takes us inside. We're here at New York Comic Con. <laughs> but if you're a fan of something, you're going to find it here. It was one massive line as soon as doors opened at the Javits Center as fans waited to enter the center of the comic book universe. People wait all year. You can come here, geek out, be a nerd, and you're embraced. And it was all worth the wait. Out today, every time you turn, it was something new. Darth Vader, Doctor Doom. Ghostbusters! To Ghostbusters. Convinced everyone to put on the heavy proton pack because it, we never did it before. And now they're regretting it, but it's great. It it's great. Art display after character, after booth, after show. The four-day convention nearly sold out already. I saw the eyes move. Yeah. Move. That's so cool. That's so cool. If you just want to dress up and escape reality, that's a, this is the place to do it. But what would Comic Con be? Comics are the heartbeat of our show. So if I help you find anything, please let me know. If you'd like to see anything closer, please let me know. Let's go over there and take a look at it. Without the comics. I've been going to Comic Con since I was probably smaller than her. Enter Paul Precioso, who owns Paul's Comics and is putting some superhero history in the hands of those who cherish it the most. I look around, I mean, there's a lot of different people here. Everyone's kind of interested in different things, but everyone gets connected. A lot of different themed characters, shows, and movies, but the real theme here today, acceptance. This is just such a sense of community. It's kind of acceptance, right, and having fun and kind of expressing yourself. The New York City Comic Con runs through Sunday. Some of the celebrities expected to attend include Marvel stars Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany and Lord of the Rings actor Orlando Bloom. We'll be right back right after this. Chart your career with a fabricator position at Chart Industries. Starting wage up to $30 per hour with no experience necessary. Excellent pay and awesome benefits. Apply now at jobs.chartindustries.com. Maury's and Gunderson Health System have partnered up together here to really provide a great service to check car seats for new families, to bring their vehicle in here, because it can be very intimidating when you're trying to put it all together. We just want to provide a space to do that. Every first and third Thursday of the month through September here at uh, Audi Volkswagen on Theater Road, at Maury's it's all about moving life forward. That's why we've joined with Center Stage in supporting non-for-profit businesses to give them power and, and impact in the community. It's time for Jollivet Family Farms Fall Harvest. There's no substitute for homegrown freshness. Stop by today for some of Jollivet's homegrown squash, kraut cabbage, popcorn, and hearty mums. Check out our large selection of pumpkins and pie pumpkins. We also feature many fall decorations, including corn stalks, gourds, specialty pumpkins, and straw bales. Take home some pumpkin cheesecake bars, cookies, pies, or bread from our homemade bakery. Buy fresh, buy local. Open daily, year-round. Jollivet Family Farms, West Salem. National Democrats have been a disaster. Higher prices, open borders, making our communities less safe. They can't run on their record, so they try to distract you by lying about abortion. Here's the truth. I oppose a national abortion ban. Early in a pregnancy, women should have the right to decide. We should allow for exceptions. And finally, the people of Wisconsin need to decide this issue, not politicians in Washington. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. A flood of illegals, skyrocketing prices, global chaos, and Kamala wouldn't change a thing. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. Nothing will change with Kamala. More weakness, more war, more welfare for illegals, and even more taxes. Only President Trump cut middle class taxes, and only President Trump will do it again. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Hey, Dominic here, and we always get asked, what do you have for chicken? With over 40 blends at our outlet store, we recommend these four. Chicken, barbecue, Jamaican jerk, and good old original.
Just take your chicken, brush some olive oil on it, shake on your choice of pleasing and grill or bake thoroughly until done. From mild to a little spicy, you can make sure everyone's satisfied. And they're all low in sodium. Get these seasonings and more at the outlet store. And you can even sauce it up using a barbecue pleasing and ketchup. Chart your career with a fabricator position at Chart Industries. Starting wage up to $30 per hour with no experience necessary, excellent pay, and awesome benefits. Apply now at jobs.chartindustries.com. Well, tomorrow is going to be a pretty scary forecast for October 20th, a high of 81. You don't really see that that often as we get to the end of October. You know, I really, I don't like it. Jeremy, I know you're loving the 80s, but... Scary, that looks like a welcoming. I don't know, it's <laughs> almost agree. Halloween. I don't want it to be 80 degrees out. You're right, I, you're right. Thank, thank you for tuning into this edition of News 8 Now this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow.